Another hearing is set to take place this afternoon. Investigators want to know how the Department of Children and Families failed to protect two children in its care when placing them with their adoptive parents, the Barra Onas. News Channel 5's Katie Legrone is back in Miami today where leaders from the state's top child welfare agency are expected to answer some tough questions about the Barra Ona case. Katie? Good afternoon to you. That's right. In just about two hours from now here at DCF offices in downtown Miami, this three-member independent review panel will meet for the very first time as they begin their investigation into how DCF handled this brutal and tragic case. Of course, this headline-making tragedy centering around this little girl, 10-year-old Nubia Barahona and her twin brother, Victor. We cannot forget the images of uh, just two weeks ago when Nubia's young body was found stuffed in a black plastic bag in the bed of her father's, her adopted father's pickup truck while her brother Victor sit trembling and soaked in acid. Now today this panel will begin ask, asking the question we're all asking. How did this happen? And did DCF, the agency responsible for protecting these kids, miss the signs that could have saved them from violence. We are also expecting today to get an overview of how the foster care and the adoption process works. We're also expecting to learn more about the Barahona couple at the center of this investigation. Carmen and Jorge Barahona were now accused of abusing the twins for years. And the panel will also learn more about DCF investigators and what their response responsibilities are. And to see if the investigator at the head of this case, Andrea Fleary, dropped the ball just days before the twins would eventually be found in that pickup truck. Now, making up this panel a trifecta, if you will, of heavyweights in the child welfare world, we've got uh, a director of a child advocacy group and former Miami Herald publisher. There's also a former U.S. attorney and finally a former FDLE worker who has worked similar cases in the past. Now, the man at the head of this, DCF, uh, the man who organized this team, he wants this review and investigation to be thorough, but he also wants it to be quick. This three-member panel is expected to release their findings and recommendations to DCF by March 11th. Live in downtown Miami, Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5. Thank you, Katie, and we will be staying on this case throughout the afternoon. Katie will be in the hearing room when the questioning begins at 2 this afternoon. We'll have the answers tonight in a live report starting at 5.